I just consumed way too much food. Um, I was really just joking around out there. I don't know if you saw. I took this pretty much as a joke. I still want it. <laughs> Coming for you, Joey Chestnut. <laughs> Let's go, Gary. How do you guys feel about the competitive eating scene in general at Mound? We it. We're the only two competitors here. We it. Yeah. haven't seen anyone else that can even come close. Nobody's on our level. It's like we're in a whole different stratosphere. It's crazy, man. Is this the game? <laughs> How do you guys typically train for any comp competitive eating event? Well, it starts with water. Stomach expansion is the name of the game. Um, drink a lot of water, your stomach gets huge. So much that you feel really full, pee it all out. It's just air left. Plenty of room for food. Um, green tea is pretty clutch. We drink <coughs> ten, around 10 bags of green tea a day. Uh, speeds up your metabolism and caffeine also does that in some of the green tea. Do you know if other schools have clubs like the one you guys are in? Someone set up a bunch of clubs. Keith was telling me, our president Keith Solomon was telling me that clubs are spouting Sprouting out. Uh, I'm sitting here with Keith Solomon, a junior at the University of Maryland. This is the founder and president of the Collegiate Competitive Meeting League. Keith, tell me, how did we get to here today? How did we get from... How did this all start? Well, Mike, it all started back when I was a freshman living in Centerville Hall. Um, we would go to the dock regularly, which was uh, on campus theater. And at the end of every month, they would cut the rest of your diner points. You would have certain diner points to spend on money. And we would take the leftover diner points, and in one day, we'd just buy as much food as we could. We'd buy chicken wings, mozzarella sticks, full pizzas, take it back to our dorm to see who could eat it fastest. And uh, actually, one day we were at the diner, and we decided, you know, like, hey, you know, why don't we take this back to our dorm? We started eating as fast as possible. Gathered a group of kids around us, started chanting, you know, and we're like, hey, we could be onto an idea. And sure enough, two years later, we decided to put it in to make it an actual club, and the university accepted it. Where do you guys think you're going with competitive eating? Do you think it's just, is it due to this for fun, or do you think you have a future in this? Well, the uh, national championship is set for sometime in April, and that's going to be right here at College Park. So hopefully we can get some uh, other colleges to come down. We're here at Cornerstone Bar and Loft in College Park, Maryland, here today for the first ever competitive collegiate eating league national championship. This is the first ever event for the uh, collegiate competitive eating league, and this will determine the number one ranking in next season's inaugural season. Individual goals, I mean, uh, obviously I'm trying to get first place in every competition. Got a competitor or a teammate here and that, so he, you know, stops that from happening all the time. He'll edge me out. I hit the wall. I wasn't prepared for uh, a big, uh, lot of food. <laughs> not really my words after a loss. I'm not used to this. The big events where you win the prizes, that's really what it's all about. It's about the prizes and the trophies. So, what, would you say that's your biggest motivation or would it, is it something else? Uh, I mean, really, I just love competing. I'm a competitor. I like to win. If you're not first, you're last. I want to go fast. Ricky Bobby, all that. And this is just one of those outlets that you choose to compete? Yeah, it's just gonna happen to be really, really fast at eating. Do you think you're working together more of the time, or do you think you're competing against each other more of the time? Definitely working together. Yeah. Like, before the competition, we strategize together. I mean, we, we always talk strategy and all that, we train together. You know, we really try to push each other is what, what it is. Like, I mean, the competitive aspect obviously plays into that because we both want to win. But, I mean, we're definitely pushing each other to be better. You know, and then when we get to competition, we're clearly competing against each other because nobody else is competing against us. Time! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I think it's a great sport. It definitely needs more coverage, and that's why we're trying to bring it to the collegiate level. Everyone's always really impressed when you eat a lot of something because everyone can relate to it and they know that we're better than them and I know that I'm better than them. Feels good.